I'm Mark Seifter. And I'm Linda Zias Palmer. And this is Arcane Mark. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to Arcane, to Arcane Mark. Mark. Today, Today, we're going to build a deity on Build a Deity Workshop. <laughs> So, deities are pretty powerful because they create mortals, but who creates deities? The answer might surprise you. It might be Twitch. It might be Twitch. It might be game designers and game developers. They have the power to create deities, therefore making us as powerful as the Alpha and the Omega. Alrighty, let's All right. do this. So. so we're going to build a deity, and therefore, we need to know what sort of things we want for a deity. So, as you might be uh, familiar with, when we're doing any of these Pathfinder 2 streams for building a deity, and obviously, most of this deity information will work in your 5e game, or your Pathfinder 1 game, or anywhere else. A few of the things are going to be, like, the specific mechanics for a Pathfinder 2 deity. But, the first thing we need for our deity is a concept. A concept for the deity. So... We've already completed the deity, RK Mark deity cycle for spring, summer, autumn, and winter deities. Mm -hmm. And we've also created, uh, I think, like another deity or two as well. Because people, um, when we first did build a deity workshop, were interested in making that cycle. So what ideas do we have for um, deity concepts? So uh, We have a rabbit god. So we have, um, I think, also uh, a machine gear constructs, constructs deity is a concept and a rat. So machines. like machines, machine slash gears slash gears slash constructs and a rabbit. And then we have gods are my favorite workshops, which is probably not a concept. Rabbit god, uh, slime, a slime deity, slime deity. Ah, uh, well, this it, is a, it, the rabbit that, god. That was a joke of a thing that the rabbit god could be, maybe, or maybe it's a. Uh, oh, tell, let, let me know. If it's it, from the same person. So oh, I'm let, not let sure. us know if, if if of assassins is uh, is a joke or directly uh, a part of what your intended idea is. I can totally see it being either way. Yep. Uh, let's see. Does anyone have any other deity ideas? Just put your concept for a deity in the chat. Serious. It's serious. Okay. 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 I, I thought it. Might no, you're be right. You're right. So it was a. It was a clarification. Rabbit god of assassins. There we go. Clarification that is a rabbit god of assassins. Uh, a feline deity of napping. Feline deity of napping. Awesome. We got four concepts. Ah, it's because they have a rabbit ancestry in, um, so therefore they need multiple rabbit deities. Mm -hmm. So they want the rabbit assassin deity. Sweet. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think it would be funnier if the rabbit deity was not even a rabbit folk ancestry, but was just literally a rabbit because it would be like Monty Python's killer rabbit at that point. Well, we, it hasn't been clarified yet. Yeah, whether it doesn't say. It, it just the, says the deity rabbit looks deity. Like a rabbit it doesn't say rabbit or, folk. Uh, or a, ra a little right. rabbit, so... It, it, it doesn't say like Lagomorph. See, it see, just says see when, I, when I saw Rabbit, I, I was definitely thinking Killer Yeah, rabbit. I was just thinking Killer Rabbit too. Rico says boob, endless Monty Python references. And uh, Umber Corvus was also going to mention <laughs> the the, uh, the dread rabbit of Kermanov. Uh, now we have Rabbit Fertility. Rabbit Fertility, guys. God. So there's multiple rabbits. Look, that rabbit god's got a vicious streak a mile wide. It's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rico. We can't help ourselves. That's right. All right. So, um... We've got five. We've got we're five ideas. Mm -hmm. And we've got ten people in chat. So, like, that's probably about as many ideas as, we'll, as we're going to get right now. Why don't we put that to a vote? Vote. Please put the number vote. of your favorite. Vote for your favorite deity. We've got one, three. One, three, four, five. One. That's what we've got so far. Any other uh, votes? Uh, it looks like a vacillation between one and two, but two is not doing well, so... Uh, I, I, let, let's just put that for one. And, and another one for four. four. Looks like the ones have it. Yeah, the ones have succeeded. So uh, we 
constructs already have deities. I was thinking the same thing, Rico. There's actually a lot of construct deities in the Pathfinder Pantheon already. And in fact, I think even one of the Arcane Mark deities is somewhat constructy. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to check that, of course. Let's see. I believe so. So we want to be different from, um, uh, we're going to want to be different from our past one, Delphium, the unsolved of animated objects, clockwork puzzles, and mysteries. Yes, that's what it was. That already needed to, Delphium already need, I actually can't see Delphium on RK Mark, which is interesting. Oh, um, I may not have posted it correctly in the clockwork it. in the channel, but I do, I can, I can post it here after that too. I have yes. it in my, uh, my notes of our thing. But that already had to distinguish itself from Bry and Cassandra Lee. Um, so this one is going to be a little tricky, but it is the one that won. Mm -hmm. So I'd say maybe what we do here is make it a combination deity. So yes, robots won Asher Mintalu by one vote. Actually, technically by two votes, if we count um, Vryn's vote for one comma two to be for one, because two did not have any other votes. So, uh, I mean, Asha Mintalu, you can vote for Slimes if you vote three, or for um, Cat Deities of Napping if you vote four. Uh, androids actually have a deity. It's Cassandra Lee. She's literally the deity of androids. Mm -hmm. Like, specifically androids. Uh, <laughs> but, um, Alrighty. what so, we could do is maybe we make a deity of sleepy feline constructs. <laughs> like, uh, it's like a sleepy, uh, mechanical cat. So this makes me think about the idea of, uh, of constructs having like the... Oh, Vryn is actually only voting for two. I uh, thought it was one of the vote for two things this time, but we only had five choices, so we just voted for one. So, so maybe, maybe this, this has to do with the fact that like constructs might often have periods where they're like clockworks where they're going to be rewound and things like that. And the idea of, so th this idea of rest being important. The robot cat's dream of electric sheep, Linda? I don't know. It's the god of the space between machine thoughts. So this is a... It's the god of, like, like ghosts in the machine and dreams of constructs. And it is a sleepy mechanical cat. It's also a deity of, like, recharging. Uh, is what we're talking about here for mm -hmm. combining it. And, uh... So it's like recharging and also that would that would bring in the idea of like reusing and refurbishing machines rather than just like throwing them out and oh, like yeah. making a new machine. So uh, that is how we're going to have a different deity than the one Delphium who is like sort of puzzles and mysteries mm -hmm. and animated objects and is going to be different than Bry who is more of a, I want Bry wants to innovate new yeah. machines whereas this cat deity wants us to continue using the ones that have been working for us in the past and to sort of have an attachment to our machines and might even want to create like a tsukumogami of machines for if you use a machine for 100 years but they know that like it's going to take a lot to use a machine for 100 years given that there's innovation and stuff Mm -hmm. So it's a surprisingly like not innovation based um, machine deity. Yes, and that'll make it more distinct. So yes. let's see. So now that we know the concept for our deity, that will allow us to come up with everything else there is to know about that deity. So there's a bunch of other stuff we're gonna want, but let's actually figure out the deity's alignment. What alignment do you think this deity is? this uh construct cat deity of resting and re resting and recharging and reusing so let's see we've got a um lawful, got neutral. lawful neutral neutral evil neutral not lawful oh, so another neutral so lawful neutral neutral evil neutral neutral any other ideas for what alignment our cat deity is? We've got another lawful neutral in there. Um, actually, Rico's changing it to chaotic neutral instead of neutral evil. Chaotic mm -hmm. neutral. All right. 
So it sounds I like think we've two, got two neutral, neutral because we've got... they have literally two yeah. waffle neutrals, two true neutrals, and two chaotic neutrals. So I think that averages out to true neutral. But I will go ahead and say follow our alignments. Follow our alignments are probably include lawful we'll neutral, include lawful and, chaotic neutral, neutral. neutral. and chaotic neutral. Yes. So also, are there any other follow our alignments? Like, should <laughs> some of the good alignments be allowed? Should some of the evil alignments be allowed? Like, maybe does it have neutral good and neutral evil, or neither of those, or both? What do folks think? Cats don't care for your good evil morality. Uncle Corvus says that that neutral good and neutral evil should be allowed for uh, for followers. I'm not sure whether Rico's uh, or sorry whether Rex the Liquid saying that they don't care for good evil means that they, they accept them because they, they don't care it, or yeah. or they wouldn't accept it because they don't care about good and evil. Um, so let's see if one more person has an opinion about good and evil for this cat and whether or not we should allow it for our worshippers. Allowed. People are saying allowed. Uh, neutral evil followers want to push mechanical objects off ledges. <laughs> Alright, so neutral evil and neutral good. Make sure they land on their feet. So we've got just everything in the middle. Just no extreme alignments mm -hmm. here. Alright, cool. So, um... In so what are some of the, the edicts of this deity? So, we can... Edicts and anathema kind of take a while to come up with. So, I want everyone to be thinking in the back of their mind about possible edicts ah, and yeah, anathema. We've got areas of concern mm -hmm. uh, already. Uh, but w let's go through some of the easier ones while you have time to think about edicts and anathema. So, what would the divine ability scores be for this cat? So, probably intelligence, like for crafting and yeah. re repairing old objects when they're when you're going to recharge them. But there's one uh, more. Rex Liquid says con because of enduring and continuing. I think con makes sense to me. What do, uh, what do other people think uh, for ability scores that would be the two most important ability scores according to this deity? These can be used in a special background for followers of this deity. Agreement for continent. So we're going to do constitution and And I'm going to go ahead and put take, add, take time to rest recharge so you can beat your full of power when needed to the edicts. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Good. You got an edict quickly on that one. Yes. Um, so divine font. We have to pick heal or harm or both. So obviously constructs themselves don't care about this because they cannot mm -hmm. be healed by heal or harmed by harm since they are not affected by positive or negative energy. But sh it sounds like since we're about repairing and continually using, to me, it feels like a heal. Yeah. Uh, but it could be heal or harm. Uh, let's see. We've got an idea for both. Uh, oh, we've both. Got both. We've got two who said uh, positive in a way. Heal. Uh, so it's you kind of You could be a, a necromancer keeping your undead alive. Uh, keeping your undead alive. Oh, yeah. Because, like, That's you're... That's true. Yeah, okay. Let's... So we're going to go with both. Uh, so the font is heal or harm. Yes. Or harm or heal, I guess, is alphabetically yes. in that order. So then we're going to look at the um, divine skill, which if it's not crafting, speak now or forever hold your <laughs> peace. Uh, because I think it's crafting is the divine skill. That would be like the skill that they consider to be the most important skill other than like religion and uh, skill that like every cleric has. So, does anyone say anything other than crafting? Well, I'll keep going, and we'll go back and change it from crafting if you don't want it to be crafting. So, favored weapon. What would be the favored weapon of this sleepy cat construct deity? Uh, now, in order to look at possible weapons, you might want to go to Archives of Nethys and see the list of all the base weapons in Pathfinder. Uh, there are a lot of weapons, obviously, that they could be, and I don't necessarily want to read every weapon in existence. So, uh... Are there, like, ones that might be more claw-like? Like Yeah, cat? I was thinking about claw-like Oh, ones well, too. a whip like Someone a tail. said it could be a whip like a cat tail. Uh, uh, also, it could be an unarmed strike, like, that. Is, that is true. Uh, or bladed scarf or kukri or yeah, isn't there a, cl a catfolk claw weapon or something like that? Let me see. Yeah, cl yeah, claw blade. Catfolk claw blade. It could be a claw blade. Uh, what do people think about claw blade? 
also we could put some we could put some of these to a vote if it's not obvious between um between whip uh and so, so we have whip so we have whip claw blade bladed star kukri and star knife to yes use it. that's right all right because you can't just put unarmed strike as a favored weapon. You have to list a particular yeah, but, unarmed attack. Yeah, whip, yeah. Whip bladed scarf. Like fist or claw. Uh, claw uh. blade. Kukri and star, star knife. knife. All right, yeah, let's vote. So pick you just one. Your one favorite of these weapons. Linda is putting them in chat. Pick one of your five weapons and put that number into chat. And mm -hmm. that will be... The favorite weapon of this cat construct deity. All right, what do we got? We got. We've got three, four, three, 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 three. Oh no, the four meant three. Four meant three. Okay, okay claw blade wins. Three. Claw blade wins. I right, also want. I also blade. want three. <laughs> it's a claw blade. It's a cat weapon. Yeah, it is very fitting. Okay, but I wanted so to make sure what are what's... our four domains? I bet they're going to be different because we've got probably dreams with yeah uh it's not like a typical we have dreams. domain what about like um, yeah not a typical domain of construct deities so we've got dreams we pr probably what have about, like, um, what about like uh rest and repair and things like that is there um so there's not one about repair repose is easing mental burdens which is not exactly the same as resting um uh, let's see can you give folks a quick rundown of the... I will read all the domains. Every one of them, except for the weird rare ones that are just like from an AP for one deity. Mm -hmm. Air. Ambition. Change. Cities. Cold. Confidence. Creation. Darkness. Death. Decay. Delirium. Destruction. Dreams. Dust. Duty. Earth. Family. Fate. Fire, freedom, glyph, healing, indulgence, knowledge, lightning, luck, magic, might, moon, nature, nightmares, pain, passion, perfection, plague, protection, repose, secrecy, sorrow, soul, star, sun, swarm, time, travel, and trickery. I think this is this doesn't have all of them. It's low. This is the first fifty. Oh. Scroll down. There are nine more. Truth. Yeah, I was thinking there was like some vigil thing where you mm -hmm. look at the past. Truth. Tyranny. Undeath. Vigil. Void. Water. Wealth. Wormkin and zeal. We have a creation and knowledge and a luck, freedom, knowledge, creation. So yeah, um, creation would be the PF two E one that was called artifice in in Pathfinder first edition. But the thing is that artifice actually means like lies and mm -hmm. not actually art like art like making artifacts or, ar or an artifice. So I'm definitely gonna put knowledge weird. and creation in here because we've got two votes for both of those. Yeah, knowledge and creation have a lot of votes on here. I think that like vigil is actually weirdly a really good one for this. I know it's not one that is well known because it says you watch over those long past and guard their secrets and then it has an object memory where you draw forth the experience of something from an oh. object as its special oh, ability wow. and then remember the lost. And it mm -hmm. it probably remembers the lost like lost machines rather than lost people, but yeah. It it says that people who died with a grievance to them. So I but... do see, I do see luck a few times. Would would folks prefer that over uh, over dreams? Also, uh, people are mentioning repose for the napping bit, and uh, like in general, I I uh, like I th I always think of repose as being one like resting and napping, but it's actually more of like easing mental burdens, and it's got like a shared burden and like a font of of serenity and peacefulness so its abilities aren't exactly that but it still could fit we've got dreams on there already so yeah but, but, but that was, I was what i was asking is do folks like luck better than dreams because i've seen i've seen luck pop up a few times uh-huh another thing we could consider is if Wait, we, yeah yeah you're right is if we wanted if we wanted times. luck instead of say knowledge also some of these can be alternate domains oh uh, yeah as well 
Let's put luck in... Dream's a little mental for a construct 80. That's true, but it is like the dreaming construct cat. So I thought the idea was it was about dreaming constructs. It is pretty mental. Cats always look relaxed, so they are in repose, says Elf. All right, so, All right, so let's luck... do a vote between yeah. luck, All repose, right. and vigil. Just vote for... Well, uh, actually, I think we should do luck, repose, vigil, and dreams. Yeah, those are the... luck, repose, vigil, and, vote and for dreams. Two. Vote for two of the lists that Linda's putting up here to be basic domains, and the other two will be alternate domains. Yep. So, just put two numbers of the ones you like. We've got three and four, Linda. One and two, the exact opposite. Three and four. One and four. Between luck, repose, vigil, and dreams. So four is doing well, whichever that one was. Four is dream. Four is dream. So dreams is, is probably doing pretty well. Anyone else have any votes that mm -hmm. they want to put in between Luck, Repose, Vigil, and Dreams? There's currently a tie between Vigil and Luck. Yes. For the last one. We have another one for Dreams. Another one for Vigil and Dreams. All right, so we've got Vigil and Dreams, and Luck and Repose will be alternate to domains. Already. All right, that's what we've got for domains. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to want to pick three cleric spells, one of which is first level, and they have to be from not the divine spell list. Yes. Because if they're already on the divine spell list, then they don't make sense to add to the spell list. And we also want to make them common spells, not not uncommon Yes, they, they, we don't want them to be uncommon spells. That would be an issue as well. So let's see what would be a good first level spell. And then we can pick any other two spells mm -hmm. other than that um, for the other two spells. So first level spell that is not on the divine... First level common spell that is not yes. on the divine list. So, like, it could, for example, have a temporary tool. Um, that that could be a possibility. Conjure a temporary simple tool, such as a shovel or rope, into your hands. Uh, that's that certainly could be a possibility. Summon construct. Could Feather be... fall is a suggestion. That's pretty Feather cool. Feather fall, yeah. Summon construct is another one I'll put on the list of possibilities. Um, I'm just going through and looking at... What was the tool one called? I'm putting up for a vote. Temporary tool. So I've got Featherfall, Temporary Tool, Summon Construct. Yes. Um, let me see what else is in here. Uh, jump is on here as well. Um, that makes sense. Uh, object Reading. Object Reading. Any other suggestions folks have, yeah, I will put into Put in the... your suggestions. I'm literally just looking through. I'm not going to read them all out loud. Mm -hmm. There's far too many of these. But I'm going to see if there's anything that looks very, very similar to this deity and put them in here. And we'll also take yours as well. I am just about done here. And I think those are all of the ones that sleep I see. Sleep was suggested as well. Is oh, that yes. A... Sleep. Is that on Divine? I think it's not. I missed it when I was browsing through quickly yeah sleep was definitely also a good choice all right here we go okay so vote for your favorite vote for your favorite um choice your number one choice of spell uh for a first level spell to add i can to see clerics, any of these to add to clerics of this deity let's see we have three six one we do have three six one One, six. So it's three, six, one, one, six. Any other votes? Another six. So, uh, Rex Liquid says temporary tools and constructs don't fit the ethos of keeping your constructs around. Another That's six. So, so we're doing sleep. All right, sleep. 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 All right. Well, by that logic, the creation spell would not be a good add at fourth level as mm -hmm. well. 
Uh, what about like? Are there any repair? Well, I guess med the mending and repair type stuff is that that's already on the divine list, isn't it? Um, let's find out whether it's on the divine list or not. It is on all of the lists. Mending. And that that reconstruct um, the remake tenth level spell is also on all the list, and nobody puts tenth level spells in the deity spell list. So what are how do you uh, is there a spell for like and so that's a spell for like healing constructs and stuff then right? What do you use like the yeah yeah okay. And let's see. Ash of Intel thinks clerics with sleep would be very powerful. I mean, that's okay. There's a lot of good ads on on some of these deity lists. Sweet. I think that's fine. So, uh, what other spells should we add? Maybe Dreaming Potential, the fifth level spell. The target retrains in its dreams because of the idea of refurbishing and uh, continuing to use a construct. I can see that. So we can put dreaming potential. I'll put one level five dreaming, dreaming potential, potential as a possibility. Five. Okay. Uh, soft landing. Soft landing. What is that? That is a dark archive spell that buoys creatures that are falling. <laughs> it's a fourth level spell. Soft landing. Fourth. That gets that Featherfall idea across, too. Um, that's a good idea. Potentially Dream Council 8th, where you communicate through a shared sleep. Or Dream Message 3. Uh, dream Message 3rd? Dream Council 8th. Let's see. What Spells. other possibilities for this construct cat? That likes you to continue using your old machines instead of just throwing them out. It's also very sleepy. Uh, dream message is already in divine. That's true. So oh. let's not add that. All right, striking. Whereas dream Good council call. is arcane and occult only. Good catch. Let's so, see. Um, the other spells. Are there any other ideas people have for our cat? If we don't, then we can vote for pick two of these spells. They're all at different levels, so I think there's no combination that doesn't work. Let's do it. Let's vote for our construct cats uh, spells from this list. Alrighty. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just finishing my little check here. And the ones that I'm seeing that would be fitting are also already on the divine list. Yep. So. Or uncommon or rare. So let's add these spells to the. Boop. Just pick two of these, I guess, three spells. So. Mm -hmm. We're just not going to take one of these. Vote for your favorite two out of three. You get to, this is the highest percentage of things that you ever get to take. We have one and three, two and three. One, one and three, three, one and three. Two and three, one and two, one and three. Hold on, let me, okay, so one and three, one and three. So three and one and three wins. One and three wins, yeah. Yeah, there's not very many with two. Alrighty. I would right. like to, but... We're taking Dreaming Potential and Dream Council. So All we've got about sleep, the dreams, Dreaming sure. Potential and Dream Council. So dream well, it's good that we level kept level? the Dream Domain since, Linda, you you added it to the chopping block list on the other poll. It, 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 it almost got voted off. Well, well if it didn't, because it, it was very popular. If it did, popular. then we wouldn't be picking these ones. That's true. Uh, dream Council. All Wither right. King points out that landing softly is not as cool as having a Dream Council. That's true. It's more about the, it's more about the feline theming. Yes. Alrighty. All right. So we've got the cleric spells. Uh, well, we're still thinking about edicts and anathema because we know our areas of concern already were like, you know, like 
repairing and recharging and reusing constructs and um, resting and things like that. But um, let's do a few more flavor additions here that mm -hmm. we want to have. So let's take a look at our sacred animal. It's obviously a cat. We don't yes. have to decide. What are our two sacred colors? What do people think? What two colors should we use? How is the council with the other lives? Rico says maybe the sacred animal is actually a tiger cat. So we have orange, black. What two colors should we pick? Red, for green, this? white is three colors. We only have two. Uh, let's see. Orange, black, silver, black. Silver, black. Okay, orange, black, silver, black. Okay, so there that down to red, white. Okay, people red, like white. black. Yeah, yellow, black. So it seems like people like black. They like black with then another color like orange, yellow, or silver. So, uh, or copper. So let's do a vote for which one to put with black. Just put orange, yellow, silver, orange, or yellow, copper. Orange, yellow, red, white, silver, and copper are the colors that I've seen here. All right, pick what color goes pick with black. Pick which color goes with black. All right, we got six, five. Six. Elf was six. Oh, okay, was it's six. copper. Okay, and then a bunch of sixes. It's copper. Copper and black. So your colors are copper and black. That's what we've Very got cool. in terms of our colors. Perfect. All right. So, like, what kind of worshippers do we have in general? What are, like, some of our standard worshippers? Like, in the same way that Shellen has artists and poets and lovers as worshippers, do we have, like, um, like, antiquers or, like, collectors? Do cat we, folk in whatever form they take in your setting. Do we have cat folk? Do we have, uh, like, intelligent constructs? Because they wouldn't want people to throw away old intelligent constructs. Wither King is saying just, like, actual animal cats might be one of the things that worships this day. Awakened cats. Although, do actual animal cats care that much about what you do with machines? That's the interesting one. Uh, we can think about worshippers if um, if people need some time about that. In that case, let's see what edicts um, people have cooked up. So we have one edict already from right away. Yes, take time to rest and recharge. You can be at your full power when needed. Yeah, these are just sort of like commandments of things that the, um, the deity suggests that you do. You don't have to do them, but that they're like kind of nice to haves. So I think that the, the sort of repair thing had more of the idea of reuse and refurbish that was getting into more of an edict thing. Reuse and refurbish instead of discard. Yes, that's right. Yes, but I do have awakened cats. So I have the cat folk, intelligent constructs, and awakened cats as worshippers. And then Wither King has another edict of... Build uh, on the old. To build on the old rather than start from scratch. So those are three good edicts when we add on your mm -hmm. edict, Linda, and we only really need three edicts. What about, uh, what about anathema? Yeah, what are things that are anathema that just, like, the deity's gonna be angry with you the moment you do it? Would it be anathema to, uh, Destroy constructs with water. Or, or <laughs> to throw, uh, like, um, throw away a perfectly good, like, to throw away a perfectly good machine... Just because something new exists. Hustling to fatigue. Yeah, so driving yourself to fatigue. So basically, over, don't overwork yourself to the point of fatigue. That's anathema. Anath so anathema is overwork yourself to the overwork yourself to the point of fatigue. Harm crafters or their creations. 
I'm not sure that like the deity would stop you from harming any creation. I guess like because a lot of things are somebody's creation, and a lot of people craft things that might be like also a problem. Like if they crafted stuff, and then now they're also destroying stuff. Um, so w when it comes to some of these anathema, we we uh, it, that's a good one thematically, but we want to look to see if it would like also stop mm -hmm. you from doing things the deity would want you to do in a in an unusual situation. Um. So harm crafters and harm crafters are creations unless they are being used for destructive purposes. Mm-hmm. That could be a thing. Yeah, so that it's would like, be a thing. You, so like you don't have to be like, oh, I can't destroy this weapon that's being used to attack me or whatever. But, right. And then destructive purposes can be a much broader th th interpretation where it's like, oh, well, you know, this, this, uh, this council is using the, the this council is using this to destroy like the safety of this area so we can knock down this door because yada yada yada. Uh-huh. Uh oh attack someone don't while they're attack asleep. someone while they're asleep. I love that. That's great. So there we go. We've got our anathema. We got our edicts. Do we have any ideas of, of worshippers now? Mm -hmm. We've had a little more time to think about worshippers for this sleepy construct cat deity. Yes, anathema crunch time. Yes. No crunch time for cat deity. Sleepwalkers. Sleepwalkers. Yeah. I mean, that's also an archetype. So, absolutely. I'd say sleepwalkers are a good fit for um, or somnambulists. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what other creatures would be a good choice? I think intelligent constructs would be a good one, potentially. Yeah. Um, so we have so far catfolk, intelligent constructs, awakened cats, and sleepwalkers. All right. Uh, yeah. So we can just do those. Mm -hmm. They're all a little niche, but maybe this deity is a little niche. <laughs> this deity just definitely does not seem like one that is like majorly worshipped mm -hmm. everywhere around. Now, I also saw puppets just there. Yeah, I mean puppets are an intelligent construct, so I yeah. think they're already fit in there. Um, so. Does anyone have any idea for a name and or title for this Oh, Inventors day? as well. Yeah, I think Inventors makes sense. They're a little Got bit it. about, like, let's let's create a new thing, but then sometimes they do it by renovating their their sort of old um, innovation and just updating it. Yes. So you could be an inventor who takes that aesthetic towards it. So a name mm -hmm. and or title for our cat construct deity, and then we'll be there. So, Paw of Eldercraft is a title idea. I mean, you can have multiple titles, but we can All only right. have Paw one name. Paw of Eldercraft. Usually, at least, only one name. Yes, Paw of Eldercraft. We've got a title. title. Yes. If any other any titles other we titles, want this stating of or suggestions in. for names? Which like, we can for example, Shellen has the titles Eternal Rose, Lady of Chrysanthemum, Cirrus, The Incorruptible, The Eternal Maiden, and Song of the Prism. That's a lot of titles. It is. She's been around a while. She sure has. Let's see. What Names could, are hard. What could the name of this construct cat deity be? For a sleeping cat. That wants you to continue using your old devices. Title, uh, Divine Feline. Untitled The Unwound. The Unwound. So there's a, a name idea, Bastel, like Bastet, mm -hmm. from, uh, All Egyptian. right, got our first name idea. Sweet. Yep. What do folks think of Bastel? We can also come up with more if you want to do a vote. Either way. Yep. Let's see. I'm gonna try to think of a name idea too, but name ideas can be name ideas can be a little tricky. Uh okay, it looks like Rico suggested cat. Rico suggested cat for the name. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll put that on a poll. I mean we can put that in the poll. 
let, let's not do that, but we can put it in the poll. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> Let's see. Trying to look up some things involving like. So golden feline is another title. Yeah, golden feline definitely could be a title. Onira. Onira, like dream. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Rock will give you a little more time to come with the fourth. Uh, or chat can come with the right, fourth. I came up with a fourth one. I will type it in chat. Feelies. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Pick your favorite. Yeah, but Linda, I had some that were like bad puns that just didn't look like a name and just looked like a pun. Fillets, I think, looks like it could be the name of a deity. Or just a fantasy name in general. Like Philounge, it was just like, no, that's obviously just a pun. Yes. there's an, Oh, there's another title, Lord slash Mistress of the Idol Stands. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a vote for one. A vote for one. A vote for three. See, Wither King wrote down fillets for later. Uh, yes, um... Osirian lore, I, I believe, does have Bastet. So mm -hmm. it would be a name that's very similar to Osirian deity if we used it in Golarian and we had that. Philazom. Yes, because like som, Somnus. <laughs> three, three. One, three, okay, three, 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 three. It looks three like three's got it. it. Which one's three? Three is Onira. Onira. So Onira is, the, is our cat deity. Sweet. All right. We've got everything we need. And you could easily run this in um, 5e. You just, like, pick the obvious domain to be the domain, and mm -hmm. then you've got it. You can run this in PF1 by switching out the domains, and you don't need the... the um, you don't need exactly the cleric spells because there are domain spells there. So, yeah, we should be set. Sweet. All thanks right. For make, thanks this for making on Onira. Our... Oh, also get Delphinus or whatever the name of the other one was. Delphium. Uh, Delphium. Okay, so not not literally a dolphin, but instead no, like Oracle. Like Oracle, fair enough. Psychics would love this deity, says Wither King. Yeah, they probably would. Psychic inventors, inventors with the psychic archetype. <coughs> Salute. All right, Woo. so let's say goodbye to YouTube and then do our outro with everyone. Bye, YouTube. See you next Bye. time.